I was like, yo, what the hell is wrong with my portfolio? I need some, I need some feedback because I've, I've been applying to all these places. I'm getting really frustrated. Like, can you, can you just help me out, point me in the right direction? Hmm. And I was pretty forward with him because I'd probably written to about 20 different recruiters over, over that year and none of them ever replied, but right. he did reply. That was the weird thing. Like he actually got back to me right. and, he, and he broke down to me and he said, like, you need to look at our IP and figure out like what you want to, like how you want to fit in with our studio. Like if you want to work on something like Assassin's Creed or Far Cry, like most of our projects in our studio are just like photorealistic. And at that time I was doing like a load of fantasy landscapes, like really tropey stuff, which all concept artists go through. Like if you go and like look up uh, tropey concept art, it's always like random mountain range with castle in the background and a guy with a stick like in the foreground, you know, like, like it's always the same stuff. Your stick salesman. <laughs> it's hilarious. Saga. Stick salesman. Yeah, I love stick those salesman, though. But they're so good. I love what you just, that's like, I want that stuff on my wall. That's the stuff yeah. I love. Yeah, it's good for illustration, but it's terrible for concept art, which is a whole different kettle of yeah. fish, I guess. I mean, it looks good, but it, like how useful how are you is that get production? That? Like, how are you going to walk there? On it? How are you going to get, how are you going <laughs> to? It's going to yeah. ride a cloud or a camel or something. Yeah, but like, there's a really good website called uh, Adventures of Stick Salesman. You should go and check it out. Like, it's absolutely hilarious. It's just a bunch of concept art from different people with like this this guy with a stick in it, just like with a different, like, in different landscapes. It's really mm. funny, but it's it's the age old trope. But my portfolio was filled with that stuff, like stick mm. salesman walking through fantastical landscapes. Uh, completely useless for anything that Ubisoft were doing at the time. Like, yeah, we're, we're working on, at the time they were working on like Assassin's Creed uh, for maybe Syndicate or something. Like, yeah, and you're okay. showing us fantasy landscapes. Like this stuff does not fit. Yeah. Go away, figure out like what you want to work on and, and show us how you can fit into our studio. I was like, yeah. all right, I will. So that's what I ended up doing. Like I I'd sat down and I thought about it. And I remember like things like having them conversations with you guys in uni. And just like constantly having this game in the back of my head thinking, you know, an Assassin's Creed in Japan would be amazing. 